There's some big battles up top there for, for Billy today. Jake, you're on the left-hand side. Ball's come across. And welcome back to another episode of DTFC. This week, DTFC head over to Hackney Marshes to play Woodford East in the second round of the Fenton Cup. When the blocks are over there, yeah. it's Hackney Hospital as well. When the trees are there, there's King's Real Estate. That's where I was brought up for 25 years. I've been over here, we've been dead when I was three years old. Played here to my Um Amongst other clubs, always come back here. And uh, yeah, this is my, uh, I feel at home. Got to be winning there. Oh, it's, it's, they say, don't bring emotion to the football, but this is very emotional for me because I've got goosebumps, the ears on the back, on the top of my arms are standing up. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Let's get a win then. Standard. Lots of changes today. Stand. Made a few. Made a few. We didn't play. We didn't play well at all last week. Um, we've made a couple of changes. We think they're positive, and we're ready to go. The boys are motivated. They're happy. They're, you know, everyone's on time, ready to go. The boys are listening, taking on board the information that we're we're offering, and they've just come on leaps and bounds, and we're so happy. Now we've just got a point of practice on the football pitch on match day, and we're happy going to do that today. Another clean sheet today. <sighs> Be nice. Got a new goalkeeper in Callum. Yep. I've been after him for three months. Callum Linsky, excellent with his feet, potential is huge. Um, alongside Charlie here, them two, they make a formidable team. Paul Daly, the goalkeeper coach, they're going to learn a lot. So we're, we're fully, fully loaded with coaches, with enthusiasm and energy, and we're ready to go. DTFC and Woodford East have already met at the beginning of the season in September's fixture list, where the game ended one all. Very tight game. Woodford East could have taken the victory, but unfortunately missed their penalty in the 89th minute. So it ended up both teams taking away one point. This team are going to try and fuck you. They're going to leave their foot in. They're going to leave their elbow in. You know what? We don't react. The only time we react is in the tackle. When it's a one-on-one, -on -one, are you fucking bullying him out of it? Are you letting you know? Let him know. This poxy level we're playing at, you lot are two, three clicks higher. I know that, you know that. But we know we're all in the dream. We've got a project to be done. Today is so fucking important that you've done it in the Chadwell League 5-2, that you do it this lot today. And send them thinking, fuck, we've got a plan in a couple of weeks, and shit themselves. You need to start fast. You need to be aggress aggressive, but controlled aggression. You need to be tight on your men so they don't turn and face up on our goal. When we get the ball to shit pitch, concentrate on the pass. Concentrate on your touch. All right? Last week, shit. So this week, we start from now. So that standard within your own self. We reach that standard. I know what you can play like, and you know what you play, but you've got to keep playing like that. We do not finish teams off. Prime example, last week. We fucked about too many touches, over touches, that we got to keep moving the ball quickly. We move the ball quickly, we'll fucking throw it around all these, but it's up to you. Important, Bailey, Kaz, used to, you must fucking talk, and as well can the pair, a new pair. So today, one drops, one attacks. You do not stand square, otherwise you get killed. Yep. And that's all I keep hearing some of these boys, oh, they love a tackle. Well, we fucking love a tackle. That's, a that's what we're there. My two boys in the middle of the park, I'll put against any cunt. Yep. Yeah? Yeah? Yep. Without a doubt. So that's where we start. That fucking middle, we'll win that battle in there and we'll win the battle around the fucking rest of the pitch. Yep. Heads yep. up, we go out and fucking... Yeah. Yeah. In goal, we have new boy Callum. At right back, we have Munya. We have a new centre back pairing and another new role for Kaz Bissup. Kaz will drop in at centre back alongside Bailey and at left back, 
we had one of our strong contenders and player of the month for September, Lewis Evans. In your midfield pivot, you have Mickey and Mike. On the right-hand side, we have another new face with Elias. Left-hand side, you've got your man like Jake. And he's back, Kieran Hitgrave, back in the number 10 spot, creating the creativity and bringing the flair to the game. And then up top, we've got Billy, our leading goal scorer at DTFC. Which then leaves, we have Steve on the bench, Stanley, Emmanuel, Elliot, and another new face with Kieran Bailey. Let's take over to the game. And Woodford East get us underway, straight to the centre mid, who's then pinged it long and cleared up by Mickey and Kaz. Kaz Bishop trying to start our play from the back, out to Jake over on the left hand side. Jake pings it long up to Billy. Woodford East clear of that up. No problem there for the Woodford East defender who instantly pinged it long. Straight out, Kaz Bishop, well won. Stops their number nine from winning the ball. We line up for another goal kick. There he is, man like James Birrell, super fan of DTFC, rallying up the fans. Billy having a little bit of a tear up there with number 99. I don't know who he thinks he is wearing 99. Jake standing up for his man like Billy. Looks like Billy and Jake have already rattled their right back. Big kick from the goalkeeper, Callum. Woodford East win the header, Kaz Bishop picks up. Kaz Bishop trying to start play, over to Kieran Hipgrave. Win there from Woodford East. Woodford East trying to keep it in play. Lino, I'm sure that was out. How are we still playing that? Where's VAR when you need it? Billy doing the doggy legs. Good run in there from Kieran Hipgrave, chasing down their centre back. We're over now on the Woodford East left hand side who have played out the ball. Munya starting off play, back to Bailey at centre back. Bailey slowed it down a bit, into the middle, we're into Mickey, he's taken a touch. Can he play it out? Mickey has lost the ball to Woodford East. Professional foul there from Lewis Evans. Oh, they've gone through. You will never beat Cash Bishop in a strength contest. The fireman. Corner played in, headed out from Lewis Evans. They tried to play the ball over the top. Great, great catch in there from goalkeeper Callum. Quickly played out to Jake at left back there. He's, Lewis Evans has done the overlap, ping the ball long, and it's been cleared up again by Woodford East. No problem there. Oh, that's a. Billy's coming from the back. Quickly played there from Mike. Out to Jake. Can he deliver it? Oh, a little bit long and looks like it's going out from a throw unless Steve can save it. I think Steve just stopped that on the line and Woodford East picked it up and tried playing quickly. Woodford East corner. Whipped it into the middle of the box. One of the players jumped slightly too early there. Well cleared out from Billy. High press, Lewis Evans done the clear up, great there. Professional foul there from Lewis, trying to stop the counter break very quickly. Woodford East throwing their toys out the pram a little bit there. We all know that's a professional foul. Number 99's got the ball, looking to play quickly. He does, goes to the centre back. DTFC trying to press high here. Play it out to Woodford East, left back. Out for a throw. Started here today, it's quite a tight game. Nothing really from either sides. No one really had a good, clear goal scoring opportunity as of yet. Over to the Woodford East centre back, who's then again pings the ball long. I don't know if this is Stoke in disguise. Over to the DTFC right back. Woodford East have 
counter to that. Munya's got playing the long throw. Woodford East yet again headed that out over to the Woodford East centre mid, who's gone a break through the midfield and tried putting the ball into the corner. Um, as you can see, Woodford East, their philosophy looks like ping it long into the corner. Good play there from Lewis Evans, who's pinged the ball long to Billy, flicked it on for Jake. Some clearing, good clearance out from Woodford East. Mickey, yet again, picks up the ball in midfield. And Mike and this midfield pairing. A foul there, ref. Come on, mate. Go. Well done from Billy there, tracking back, winning the ball, putting his body in front of the ball. And Woodford East have gone through behind, winning the foul. There he is, Kieran Hipgrave in his predator position. Watch how he whips his ball. He's signalled over here to the DTFC what he wants from his forward players. Whip the ball in. Just fell short in front of the defence. Unfortunately, Mickey was able to clear it. Kaz towering over. Woodford East trying to break out quickly here. It's three on two. Woodford East on the left-hand side. They deliver. Oh, great defending there from Kaz Bishop. Followed his man all the way. Got his body in front of the guy and stopped the cross. He's now run through. He's lost the ball. Woodford East on another counter break. They play the ball out to the left-hand side. It's two Woodford East players in there. Kaz Bishop is like the AA. He is everywhere. Yet again, after losing the ball in midfield, comes back and saves the ball again. Back out to Kaz Bishop. This guy is everywhere. The ball is always stuck. Kaz plays the ball over to the left, hand, uh, left back, over to Lewis. Plays it through to Billy. Unfortunately, Billy just couldn't get there in time. Well collected from the goalkeeper, who plays it out quickly to the Woodford East right back. Through to their number 10 in midfield and out to their right back. Plays it some good play here from Woodford East who are moving the ball from left to right and right to left quite nicely. They've lost the ball, oh, they've, they've kept the ball back in play and they still continue to play with Woodford East. They've still got the ball, players slipped over and Mike collects the ball. He, we should start calling Mike the tactical. Back over to Kaz Bishop. He's looking to start play and ignite DTFC's phase of play. Into midfield, we ping the ball out to the left-hand side where Jake is. Jake's now left one-on-one -on -one with the Woodford East right back. Right back has won the ball. Tried to play it long, but Kaz, um, oh, that was a little bit nasty. Some good effort there from Jake. That was a bit of a high foul there on Kieran Hipgrave, but they've put it out and said it's a Woodford East free kick. Woodford East have now playing a throw on the left-hand side. It's gone through. Oh, they should be hitting the target there. They played it through. He set it back to their striker who walloped it over the bar. This is not rugby, my friend. This is football. You need to be hitting the target from there. Straight to their centre-back who's now pinged the ball long. We're seeing a common theme here from Woodford East, just walloping it as far and as long as they can. They ping the ball over now to the right-hand side. Lewis has gone over to shield him. He's played the ball back, and there he is. The man of the match has Bishop. Picking up the ball, collecting the ball. Captain Kev on the run, on the side today due to injury. Kaz defending the ball well. Jake and Woodford East player both sliding in there. Well collected from the Woodford East player who's picked up the second ball. Woodford East are now got it in midfield. We can now see Mike's picked up the ball with Mickey. Mickey's unfortunately lost the ball. Woodford East have gone through and they've played the ball. Callum, the goalkeeper, has picked that up nicely. Played it very quickly out to Lewis Evans. He's played the ball into midfield to Mickey, but this Woodford East player again has got there in front. They're now trying to play the quick counter attack. Lewis over to the left hand side. They've tried whipping the ball through. Kaz read that like a book, went through. A bit of a fierce tackle there on, and he's left Jake down. That was a bit of an aggressive, but I would say fair tackle. They've put the ball across two of the Woodfordies. It went right in front of them. You've got to be throwing a leg at that if you want to score against DTFC. You won't get many chances, but when you do, you need to be able to take them. Shouts here for a penalty. Referee stops the play, so the physio can come on for Jake. They were screened from Woodfordies for a penalty there. It was just a fair tackle. 
Referee's coming over to speak to Jake, just to make sure that he's okay. We now kick off. Munya playing over to Jake, who set it back. Munya then sits into midfield to Mike. Mike's opened his body, looking to play left. He's held onto the ball a little bit too long then. He's been caught out by the Woodford East, who have played the ball through very quickly, broken the back line. Bailey's coming back. They've taken a shot. Great save from Callum. The back there. They had a one-on-one. -on -one. Woodford East have had a couple of chances now. They need to start retucking away if they want to have a chance of beating DTFC. You won't get many chances like this. Jake and Elias have swapped sides. DTFC like to do this. They like to swap sides of their wingers to change things up. Nice little step over, delivers the ball. Oh, cleared off the line by Woodford East. Done a little step over, took a deflection, which brought the ball over the keeper's head onto the line. Good the covering there from the DTFC, sorry, from the Woodford East defender. DTFC goal kick picked up by Kieran Hipgrave over to Mike. He's played this out to Elias. Elias, very aggressive away, running at these defenders. These defenders are on the back foot now. Lewis has done the overlap on the left hand side, delivers the ball, collected from the keeper. Good phase of play there from DTFC with the overlap. Long throw here from Woodford East. Flicked on to their number 12, he's outside of the box and defended from Bailey at the back there. Woodford East number four trying to take on a few of the players. Couldn't get through the brick wall of Mike and Lewis. Kaz Bishop again here at the centre back, looking to start up and ignite the play from the back. Ping the ball long, over to Elias. Oh, Elias, <laughs> what, he's tripped over there? Oh, a little bit of a late foul though from Billy. Nudge the player whilst he's going in there. And he's giving him a nice little hand. Fortunately, I don't know what, what Elias tripped over there. A bit of banter flying between the Woodford East player and Jimmy Gollidge. Woodford East ping the ball long and collected again by Kaz Bishop. Number 11, good defending there from Lewis Evans. Come back in there, it's helped him support in the defending was Mike. Woodford East have still got the ball over on the left hand side to so number seven looking one on one with the DTFC defender and they kicked it for DTFC had stopped actually and kicked it out for a corner. Elias there come back covering some ground. Woodford East ping the ball over the uh, of their right hand side. Kaz Bishop has just been it in the jaw ref. Come back for that. This ref, you can't leave be throwing your elbow out like that and not have a word at least. Ref, any danger? Shout out to Primal Therapy there, who are attending to Cad Bishop. He split his lip. Elias is come off. Looks like he's got a hamstring injury. So another substitute having to be made. There's some big battles up top there for, for Billy today. Jake on the left hand side. Balls come across, and Stanley puts it in at the back post from Stanley Green. Goes into a big celebration into the crowd. Love that. Jake whips the ball over the right uh, from the right hand side, whips the ball over. We're lucky to fucking be one new up, to be honest. There's a few fucking invisible people out there, especially the first 30 minutes. The last 15 has been better. But you're being bullied, boys, some of you. You're fucking literally being bullied. They're pushing you, you're moaning. <laughs> fucking hit them back! It's what we said. You don't let them bully you. We fucking, what they want to give you, you get back up and the next tackle, you fucking hit him. Prime example, this fucking man here. Not lost one ball against any of their fucking players. Enters, tackles, wallop out and through them. Too many times I've seen they fucking get the ball, you give them time, not tight enough, they'll turn round. They're not really facing you. Ball comes to their feet, you fucking attack it. We keep it nil with 90 minutes, we win the game, end of. First 15, we keep it fucking nil. Then we fucking start punishing them and punishing them. We go 2-0 up. I'm telling you, the metal of these, they'll start arguing amongst themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So we keep it the deal, we start to lick another one, and then we'll fucking go on from there. Tight right around the fucking pitch. 11 players, from you to you, right through. Help one another. Let's go, boys. Come on. Some tough words there from assistant manager Don Burrows. I think he's told DTFC what he, what he thinks of that part. We've been kicked off, DTFC kick us off. Mickey's got the ball. He's lost the ball. Play tries to slip the ball through. Collected again from Mike. Mike looking to play back to Steve at right back. Good little turn from the on the inside from Steve. He's having a little run through midfield. He's trying to go through. He's gone through to the back. Cleared up from the number four of Woodford East, who is now trying to set off play. Well done from Lewis Evans, who stopped out the cut out of the play, read the game. Steve trying to do a bit of a step over and let the play roll, but it got caught out and picked up by Woodford East, who are now three on two. Trying to do a step over, good defending there from Bailey. And cleared out from Lewis, who sweeps behind the two centre backs. Woodford East have got a free kick, they ping this long. One by Mike. Collected again from Mike Hewitt. DTFC are now on the counter break from Billy. Over through to Jake. Jake's is now three on two. Jake's been fouled. Over to Kieran Hitgrave, who's picked up the ball. Kieran Hitgrave's got it again outside the box and one DTFC a corner. Jake is down again. DTFC players are in uproar, having it with the referee. Long ball played over to Steve from left back to right back. Steve taking a control yet again, come on the inside. Made one of the Woodford East have a slippery slide on one of the banana skin. Woodford East have collected the ball, yet again try playing the ball long. Bailey has missed it, he's covering back, sprinting back, one on one. Good defending there from Lewis Evans again, who's cleared another ball off the line. I think Woodford East have now had four or five chances, a couple saved off the line. They need to start fixing up if they want to win this game. DTFC are still ahead with 1-0. Don't know if two players have collided here or if he's gone down injured, but one of the Woodford East players are down at the moment. Long throw from Jake, ping the ball into front post, which is cleared out from Woodford East. Collected up for the second ball by Woodford East. Steve has put the ball it back into there and unfortunately it's gone out for a goal kick. Woodford East trying to play out from the back. The guy that's got... Come on, guys. He's thinking from East London. A bit of a foul there. I think Steve's gone through the back of number seven. Um, he's gone down and won a easy foul. Top knock 21 is now trying to take a free kick over to the left hand side to number 10. Cleared out again by Steve. Woodford East take a long throw there. One by number 20. Steve collected the ball there. Oh, a bit of a late foul there, but referee has decided to play on. Woodford East have got the ball through into the goal. Well collected and won back by Steve, who had a foul. Callum's pinged the ball long. We see Stanley, unfortunately, didn't win it. Woodford East have won another header. He's towered over the top of Stanley. And Stanley has got the ball. Referee, are we going to go back for that one? Referee's afraid of his whistle there from the looks of it. There's a little bit of argy bargy between the Woodford East and the DTFC players. I don't think a few of the players like that. And I think a few of the DTFC players expected a foul from there. Referee has waved on. A little bit of drama and a little bit of handbags that we're seeing over there from a few of the DTFC and the Woodford East players. Corner in from Woodford East. Big win there from Billy. He's won the ball and they're on the counter, uh, counter attack. Manny's picked up the ball. Good tackle from the man bun 21. He's then gone through and tackled Billy and given away a foul. Professional foul trying to stop DTFC going on the counter break because they know that DTFC will be ruthless. Woodford East and Mickey battling it out there. Oh, referee, you've got to come back and have a look at this. Get control of this game. 
Yeah, a few of the players are not happy with what they've just seen. I think someone's just flung an arm out at Stanley. <laughs> DTSC are absolutely furious with what's going on here. Management are on there from both sides. I couldn't quite see what actually happened there. We need to go back and have a look at a replay of this. But it looks like Woodford East have lost their heads a little bit here. Probably thrown a tantrum. Referee needs to get a little bit of control of this game. I was something serious could quite happen. Referee's having a conversation with them both. Push Stanley away and he's now having a conversation with their number seven. Is he going to be... He's now seeing a yellow card. He's now going to have to tread carefully this number seven. He's put in a few big tackles and he's now walking on thin ice. One another yellow and he will be warming up the showers. Woodford East are trying to play it now. They've gone through midfield. Kieran Bailey missed the tackle there. And we've got now two on two. Woodford East number 19 plays it out to the left hand side to number nine who's going to try and deliver a ball in. Good save. The ball actually was supposed to be across. It went in towards goal. Callum had flicked it off. Good save there from the keeper. Yet again, picked up from Lewis Evans at the back. Billy at Gollidge has picked up the ball in midfield and good battle in there between Billy and Woodford East, number 99. Goal kick over from DTFC. Billy wins the header. It's gone through to Manny. Oh, that was close. Goalkeeper has collected that just in time. Manny was through there. Uh, they played out the ball very quickly to their left back and Woodford East are now kicking the ball over to the right hand side. Good control there from the Woodford East number seven who's pinging the ball across outside the box. Kieran Bailey with a good interception there over to Manny. Manny's pinging the ball over to Billy. Looks like there he's flagging a little bit. He wasn't running as cleanly as what he normally does. Holding the ball in the corner trying to waste time and that's it. ETFC one. Woodford East nil. TFC now progressing through to the third round of the Fenton Cup. John Burrows, manager Alan Fenn, look quite happy there. Arms around the player. Captain Kev is pulling a few of the boys in and they celebrate together. Now let's listen to a few words from the management team. Boys, fantastic second half. We fucking out battled them and fucking bullied them back. Superb! Another clean sheet! The league has ever seen, and it's Super DTFC are by far the loudest fans the league has ever seen, and it's Super DT. What happened? Yes. Um, credit to Woodford East, they have a very physical side. They're a team who try to impress their physicality on us, which they certainly did during the first half. Um, a couple of early substitutions I had to make. One was in false, one the other was playing well. They made it in immediate impacts. In fact, Stanley scored with the winning goal. Um, second half, we come in the set half time and we wasn't happy because we were getting bullied. Second half, we went out there and we turned it around and we was the bullies. And um, overall, you know, quite an hostile atmosphere with them lot. All the Woodford East boys all staying in there. Um, but we ended ourselves well on the day. Um, another clean sheet, another win through to the next round, so I'm happy.